family and Ben, Stephen Ross never wanted us to forget the atrocities of the Holocaust, but even more so, he used his experience to inspire. The six glass towers etched with millions of numbers, like the one tattooed on the wrist of Stephen Ross, the Holocaust survivor who founded this memorial and never hesitated to share his story. After I was rescued from hell in the valley of death, I came upon a soldier on a tank that showed me compassion for the first time, concern, and took me back to God, to civilization and mankind. It feels like I've lost a father and a mentor. Filmmaker Roger Lyons became a close friend, spending 17 years documenting Ross's life. He was just such an inspiration to so many people. Um, and he worked hard, this is now after the concentration camps, he worked hard to get himself through school so he could contribute. It turned out the boy who had survived the Nazi death camps had an incredible ability to connect with young people. And you see somebody is being denigrated, subordinated, humiliated by others. You gotta stand up and you gotta make a noise and speak up. He taught people about the importance of resilience, the importance of always being hopeful. He dedicated his life to working in many housing developments in the city of Boston, working in our schools, just a, a special person. It really is a living legacy that Steve Ross leaves behind. Tonight, his son Michael tells me that the family is together, remembering and making arrangements. We're live in Boston tonight. I'm Mary Saladin, WCBB News Center 5. All right, Mary.